Hi! So, as it's Christmas time and coming up to New Year as well, I thought I'd do a Christmas party or Christmas day look and a New Year's Eve makeup look as well because I love the glittery eyes and the red lipstick so I thought I'd talk you through what I'd do if I was going to a Christmas party or what I'm going to do for New Year. To start with, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Primer. I think you might have seen me buy this in my blog. I think it gives you a more youthful glow and makes you look a bit younger, hopefully. Next, my favourite, which I always use daily as well, because I find other foundations a bit cloggy, is the Tinted Moisturiser from Benefit You Rebel. So I put this on with my foundation brush. The lady at the counter told me you're supposed to warm it between your fingers first before you put it on. I don't know why, but I do that anyway. Oh, <laughs> nice, that's uh, obviously a bit of the packaging. Watch out for that. Next I put on my professional, which I've had to film that about three times, so I always stutter when I say it, because I have quite big block pores, so it's good to kind of cover them over, and it's the best one I've found, actually. Then I put Boing on, my concealer. Normally, I do it with a brush if I have a bigger spot, but if it's just general, I use my finger to do it, just smear it all on. Possibly not the best technical term, smearing it on. So a makeup artist told me a while ago that the trick with Touche Eclat when you put it under your eyes is to put it on and leave it for a bit till it goes a bit tacky. Because apparently if you put it on and just smear it in, you're taking most of it off with your finger. Don't really know if it works, but I believe anything anyone tells me if they're a makeup artist. So that's staying there for now. I showed you this in one of my shopping hauls, I think. It's the Maybelline Shiny Gel Eyeshadow. Do you see that well? Because I want that shiny, glistening look to look quite prominent, I just want to blend it in a bit. So I'm going to use my bronzer and put just a little bit here just to blend it in, so that's the main colour rather than putting a kind of cream on top or something. I'm going to put this Sephora glittery eyeshadow over the top of this gel eyeshadow just for extra sparkle. I'm going to dab it on because sometimes this drops all under your eye and it's so hard to get off even if you have makeup remover. If you do get little bits under your eyes like I have there, I just use my big brush to get it off after, after I've blended it and stuff. And my trusty Bobbi Brown blending brush. Now I'm just gonna blend in this under my eyes, because I think I've left it there long enough. I tap it in like that, and then I use my concealer brush. So if you have bags, you should always put the Touche Clat just under your eyes here because if you put it on the puffy part of your eye, it enhances it. Because it's light reflecting, it would just show up in photos, so get it right under the bag if you can and then blend it in just underneath. Apparently it should be in a tick shape like that, so I've been told. Then I just use a cotton bud to get all the little stray bits there that I always have that drop from the eyeshadow. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Body Shop eyeshadow to just line them underneath to get the shape and then I'm going to fill them in with a slightly darker colour. So I'm going to use this, which is Ben Nye Brown. I think it's number eight. You see how old it is, it's actually rubbed off. I like to fill it in quite a lot because when I brush it up, I get little patches underneath. Then I blend it in a bit round here so it's not so harsh a line. I've done this when I'm out and I rub it too much and then I have like a bald patch to there, so don't do that. Then clear mascara to brush it up and get it in place. Now 
Now for two chocolate under the eyes. And then quickly blend it in again. I've tried a lot of liquid eyeliners and this is the easiest one I can use because I have the one with the brush which sometimes I find quite hard depending on what kind of mood I'm in I guess. But this Ico one I find quite easy. Possibly won't go right now, now I've just said that, but I'm going to try it. I like to do it a little bit higher up and then fill it in so it's a bit thicker rather than doing a bit, then another bit, then another bit. It doesn't always go right like that though. So now I just fill it in. Then I put a tiny bit underneath, just on the corner, and smudge it in a bit. So now I've got my eyeliner on, and I smudge that tiny bit in the corner. I'm going to put a bit of this gel eyeshadow underneath and drag it under the eye. In the corner of my eyes, for the cotton bud, I dab a tiny bit of this bourgeois eyeshadow just to brighten your eyes up a bit. It falls out everywhere, so I use just the bit in the lid. Next, my favourite benefit powder. I also brush it over my eyebrows to soften them a little bit more as well. And then blend it down your neck so your face isn't a different colour to your neck. It never looks good. Right, so today I'm not going to put lashes on. I normally would, but I know not everyone can do them and they're really tricky to do, whether it's the normal ones or the individual lashes. So I thought I'd go for a look without them because if you use a good mascara and you layer it on, I think you're good to go because I know they're so hard and frustrating. I have this Maybelline one. I think I used this last time in my other videos. First, I'm going to put some bronzer on my cheeks. This is my Kath Kitson brush, it's such a good one. Then, for a winter glow, so you look a bit flushed, I bought this when I went to Milan in my vlog. I put a tiny bit of this bright pink eyeshadow, and I dot it on, and then I blend it all in after, just for that flushed wintry look, which I think is quite nice. just on the apples of your cheek, just there. Not right up like I did with the bronzer. Then I blend it all in. Then the high beam highlighter from Benefit, just to give a bit of a glow here. In the beginning of my Paris vlog, I was wearing this lipstick a lot. It's Smashbox and it's the bright red one. It's such a good one, even after I've eaten, it stays on. So here's my Christmas party, New Year's Eve makeup look. I hope you liked it. I wanted to make it really simple because I think sometimes at Christmas you're in such a rush and so much is going on that you want to do it quite quickly. I did it intricately so I could show you what I was doing, but it can be done so quick. And you could just do shaped eyebrows and a stick of red lipstick and you'd be ready to go. And then a bit of rosy cheeks. I hope you liked it. Please do subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up if you like watching it. And thank you to everyone who supported all my videos. It means so much and it's great that everyone watches them. I can't believe it. Have an excellent Christmas and a happy new year. Bye.